All right, guys, hey, we're going to go ahead and take a look at your solenoid for the M2. Uh, same can be applied for the 13s and 14s. Uh, almost any solenoid for die, to be honest. Uh, they're just built slightly different, and I mean strongly mean slightly. So let's go ahead, and I removed the grip frames already. Uh, you'll just need a 332nd Allen for that. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and just need a screwdriver, Need those pliers, uh, the die tool for the pick, and when you remove the grips, I do strongly suggest you go ahead and just unplug your uh, wireless charge unit just so when you move the grips it doesn't come flopping around and then plug them back in when you get the grips back on or when you get the gr frame back on. So let's go ahead and get started with your uh, Phillips head screwdriver and we're just going to go ahead and remove these two screws here. Once we have them removed, the plug for the solenoid is right in the back here. Uh, the eyes are in the front, the noid is in the back. So we're just going to go ahead and unplug it now. So the solenoid is pretty basic. Um, as you can see, my gasket here didn't come with, so let's go ahead and place that back on. This gasket is reversible, so it can be flipped and turned. Um, Either way, it'll still fit bo both ways. Um, so let's go ahead and take this completely apart. We're going to need to take these two screws off here. One and two. This part here is the little mic uh, micro switch or uh, electrical magnetical switch that just changes the air direction uh, for your solenoid, which reacts with for your LPR. And... Uh, this little gasket here, it uh, your kits do not come with a replaceable one because normally, typically, you don't have any problems between this gasket and the gasket in between here and the aluminum part. Uh, it's just, if you keep it lubed, it should last you oh, quite a while. Um, the only reason why you should be taking the solenoid apart this much is if you ever have dirt or uh, crap that gets lodged in there and you want to just go ahead and just clean it just for the like just so it lasts a little bit longer because once once dirt and debris get in here uh chances are the solenoid is going to not function properly at all you're going to start losing a lot of quality on the shots drop shot and to continue taking it apart we're going to go ahead and remove these two screws now same as last time this does have a small uh gasket here that's giving me trouble and there is no replacement for it so recommend not losing it and uh, there is this little plastic piece here uh, do not recommend taking it out it should stay in there uh, there is a very special o-ring on that that is not available anywhere same with these two o-rings since they're considered gaskets they're not really you can go out and buy one if they do break you'll have to contact die directly uh, chances are you're messing with the, the solenoid when you shouldn't be, but all we're just going to do is just take this off, set it to the side, and then lube it back up to get when we put it back together. Now, inside the aluminum part of your solenoid here, there's a small shaft that we're going to go ahead and remove. We're going to need the die tool for that, but I don't want to scratch or put any marks on that because it is a vital part, and it this thing... The shaft here plays a big role on how it functions. Uh, in the center, on this little slot here, you possibly could see a small hole, I'll show you when I remove it, that you can use to help you get it out without doing any damage. Oh, I do want to make a note, I almost forgot and almost lost it, that the shaft here does have a, um, a small spring that you don't want to lose and so we're just going to go ahead and set that aside really quick and the small hole I was talking about is this little guy right here try to hold that steady it is a very small hole but it does go straight through and through um, you can stick the pick in there and it it should come out after that 
other than that uh just gently i i i hate doing it but sometimes you might have to get like right by the o-rings here they're very small and easy to me mess up um and you don't want to break them because your kit does not have a replacement and so if there is dirt just go ahead and wipe it off with a, a clean microfiber and then once you have it clean uh, let's start putting it back together um, let's go ahead and put some lube on it since these o-rings are small it doesn't really need a lot of lube but it need, it does need uh, quite a few drops of lube on here and then we get the small spring and the spring with the hole one side of the shaft here only has a hole the other side is completely flat and flush that side with the spring is inserted into the aluminum body of your solenoid first and I'm just gonna gently just push it in and once it's in it's in and we're just gonna go ahead and start putting it back together there you guys have it I mean the solenoid is pretty much simple uh, the most simplest thing on this gun other than programming it I mean that's really simple itself um, again you don't want to mess up any of the o-rings so I do want to say caution when taking it apart as what I just did um, use a toothpick and not an actual metal pick uh, just so you don't scratch in the uh, this because uh, the uh, solenoid itself is aluminum while your pick is most likely going to be stainless steel or steel or whatever pick you use it's going to be a harder metal than the solenoid itself and it could um, it could scratch it and you don't want that so just use caution take things slow uh, clean it out put it back together lube all the little gaskets and o-rings just for added security of um, protecting it from leaking and then tighten it just do one screw at a time, tighten it down, get it snug. You don't really need to get it too tight. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was informational. Thank you for watching.